All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah Bashmi Rakak Wadash. And double honors to the apostles of the great No Stone. And um, once again, giving also the salutations they run towards Yakim out there that's forwarding this truth worldwide. And um, Shalom to the Yakim Wagwaf Yam too. All right, and it's your brother Laban coming at you with another video. And um, in this video here, I'm going to be speaking on this particular topic here and um before i get started i just want to just say that for the past week i've been um researching this avian flu and i've spoke about this particular topic before and i'm um, declaring that the avian flu is just a light flu you know usually doesn't go from being to mean being to being excuse me you know, on a drastic level, it's just a very measly minor uh, virus that affects very few people. OK, but um, going back to what I was going to, you know, say is that I've, I've found some um, articles. I've watched the video from France 24 and, um, you know, the way they played the video in regards to this avian flu, making it such a big deal and. You know how Esau likes to get their point across when they're creating the narrative for you to believe. They do it in a very intricate, you know, powerful way with the music in the background and, and the presentation to just have you convinced to believe that what they're saying is officially true. When in fact, it's, it's just nothing more than another lie that will be told to you because what they need you to be under is on the more sicknesses and to be more diseased by their um you know v a w c i n s s all right and and there's and there's a method to their madness there's an agenda at large at the very end of this nonsense that they're doing all right so like i was saying you know for the past week i've been doing some researching on these articles concerning this avian flu which is also known as the bird flu and um also, what I found out, too, is that Moderna is ready in a uh, V double C I N on that, too. OK, but right now they only have what two, uh, you know, two sections of, of articles, actually one section now on this. But week prior, you know, you had about what three sessions of, of this stuff of the mainstream media blowing this out of proportion, you know. Just like on a, you know, a medium degree of telling that, look, you know, there's another virus that could be coming that could be on the come up. Uh, another particular variant, which is the avian one at that. And, and that's pretty much all I'm going to say right there. And I, and I just want to read and I'll get back to talking about that. I just want to read this now. This is our uh, Proverbs 2 and verse 12. Um, let's go and get verse 11 so we can read this right. So now let's read. Uh, verse 10 when wisdom entereth into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul discretion shall preserve thee and understanding shall keep thee to deliver thee from the way of the evil man from the man that speak of forward things and the word to deliver is from the word um number to all if i'm correct which means to separate so just think about it right when you're around someone that has it in for you you're not going to really know that until you what separate yourself from that person more effectively you know because for the most part a lot of us can't really judge people just like that you know some of us can do that but a lot of us can't so for the most part what you would have to do is separate from that person i mean if you've heard things here and there by multiple different people about this person that you're closer to you know that might help but what can also help you even more is by separating yourself from that person. And uh, therefore, you'll be able to actually see what he's really all about all the way. And that's what happened to us. You know, we've heard information, bits and pieces. We watched certain things on television that showed us that this man was the devil. You know it, right? But um, this knowledge, what this knowledge did is put everything into a clear perspective, gave us a clear perspective to see that this devil or this Edomite are indeed our wicked brother, which is Esau. 
and there are enemies for that okay so now it's clear that this so-called white man beginning with the jwos are indeed the devil that the bible speaks about we've heard this term here and there but we were still convinced not that wasn't really the case because obviously um, our parents that raised us taught us to not be racist as, as well as if you're coming from a, a so-called black household you know most likely teaches their children that look you don't need to be racist accept anybody for who they are and everything's going to be okay etc etc right when it concerns these devils but um you know this truth shows us differently and thanks to the uh, the men the elder apostles of the great no stone that showed us the way by providing these precepts and breaking down these scriptures in the correct way okay and um it was really all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah anyway, but I still give thanks to our elders and our apostles because obviously if the Lord didn't put them men on the scene, then we wouldn't we would be lost. Okay, we would probably be following the boys in purple, the boys in black looking like the Black Panther party or something like that. We would have been following them 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 Negroes and we would have been lost. We would have been a lot more worse than we were in the world. <laughs> okay. So um, you know, thanks be unto Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. That the Heavenly Father's placed the right men in front of us and given us the right kind of mentality to actually see that they have the truth. Okay? They have the true way of bringing forth the scriptures in the way that they've done it. And now we have the, the real understanding and we know how to operate and to interpret each and everything that we speak on through the scriptures in the right way, which is the most important. Okay? So... Let's read this again so I can get back on my train of thought. Uh, the discretion shall preserve thee and understanding shall keep thee to deliver thee from the way of evil man or the way of the evil man from the man that speaketh forward things. Right. So, yeah, going back to what I was saying now is that is that um, this knowledge has ended into us due to these men. So because now we know now we can separate ourselves from this man. And when we do separate from this man, we see what he's doing from the outside looking in because we was inside the world but we're outside of the world you know we're in the world physically but spiritually we're out of it and we're outside looking into it and we're seeing everything play out as the scripture says it would and the scriptures is convincing us or our reality is convincing us that the scriptures is correct about this so-called white man that he is the devil okay and it's all based on his works that we're seeing that he is the devil like I just did a video on um, the oil spills that happened in, um, what is it, the state of Ohio. And it's th those oil spills is basically, you know, and the oil's pretty much spreading around from, you know, the states that it's nearby to. And we also had an oil spill down here at the Pool Harbor down here in the UK. All right. So based on his actions, more and more, it's showing that this man is a devil. So. Let me read this right here. I don't think I've read this, man. But let me read this because I just was talking and I, I wind up going somewhere else. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, just to fast forward now, we're going to get into this right here, man. This is uh, natural news, of course. So this reads the drug being ready for the, the avian flu pandemic <laughs> causes side effects that includes believing false narratives, making it perfect for social control. And I mean, you already know this is a far right. Um, article that I'm reading man and don't get me wrong like it doesn't make the, make these articles always right because they're far right articles sometimes they be can, they can be going off but you know what makes this on on the on on point is the fact that I did some research and you had a lot of um mainstream media outlets displaying this avian flu that's going to be a big thing and we got to kind of look out for it that's just how he was putting it anyway you know so anyway let's go in and read some more of this so th this reads the former cdc director robert redfield recently warned that gains of function research and uh bioterrorism <laughs> i'm going to continue to read on the u.s government is already mapping out a suspicious new bird flu that is passing from wild birds to mammals and causing strange behaviors strangely enough a blockbuster drug is already being readied to treat this up and coming avian flu. And this drug is called uh, Paramivir and it goes by the trade name. Uh, what is it? 
rapper vibe or something like that, right? So I got it on my phone, and this is what it causes. This is what this V A double C I N E is going to cause. Yeah. So this is it right here. This is from the drug, the drugs dot com, right? And this is in regarding the paramifair side effects. So let's get to the point and let's read the side effects, shall we? So this is, um, yeah, so it says less common, <laughs> cloudy urine, fever, blistering, peeling or loosening of the skin, chills, confusion as to time, place or person, confusion as to time, place or person, coughs, cracks in the skin, diarrhea, difficulty swallowing, dizziness, fast heartbeat. Uh, hives, itching skin, rash, holding false beliefs that cannot be changed by fact, joint or muscular pain, uh, loss of uh, heat from the body, puffiness or swelling of the eyelids or around the eyes, face, lips or tongue, red, irritated eyes, red, swollen skin, red skin, lesions, often with a purple center, scaly skin, seeing, hearing or feeling things that are not there, sore throats, sores ulcers or white spots in the mouth or on the tip tightness in the chest trouble breathing unusual excitement nervousness or restlessness unusual tightness or weakness so if you take this particular v a double c i n e that's what you're going to get okay and they're going to call you as a victim of having what the avian flu and that's going to be uh the narrative that they're gonna they're gonna spin if they continue to blow this thing up, because j just as you we all remember we all remember if we were paying attention that when the COV ID came in, it was a small little thing and then the next thing you know the media just blew it up. All right, like how everything starts it starts small but then if it if it keep if it keeps building on it's gonna get big, and uh, that's how they that's how they can very well do this thing man but we just have to wait and see. If this is going to be the case, if, if they're going to be pushing out another PSYOP in regards to another variant. Okay, and I'm going to just let it, I'm going to just let it be known at that. And, um, you know, not say any more because I don't want to get my video taken down. All right. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, man. That's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, yeah, let me read this again. I don't think covered a, a particular point that i wanted to make i might have left something out as i feel so uh let's read uh verse 12 again to deliver thee from the way of the evil man and from the man that speak of fro with things exactly yeah i missed something this is in psalms 1 so yeah we've been torn apart from this devil we've been separate from this devil because we know what this devil is all about due to the knowledge all right and this is why this reads in psalms 1 1 and 1 blessed is the man that walketh not in the council of the ungodly, nor standeth in the ways of the sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Okay, so um, yeah. Bless is the Lord that actually chose us, because remember, it wasn't us that chose him; it was him that chose us. That's in the book of John fifteen and sixteen. So we were chosen to be what men of him, rather than men of the devil. And um, our people. The reason why our people, when you talk to them. That will say to you, oh, well, you know, the white man ain't that bad and this and that and the third, etc., etc. They're only saying that because they're nothing more than blind bats. That's why they're saying that. And, and, and you know what? So I'm going to just put this out there, too. You know, I know that amongst so-called white people, you're going to have our people. You're going to have Israelites out there that are, that are looking like so-called white people. But in fact, you know, they could possibly be. Israelites, you have the Irish and you have the Scots and you, you know, you name it, you know, for those of you that are watching this video, you know what, I, you know what I'm talking about because you've heard it from the other brothers before. Okay. And this is something that we believe in. We believe that due to the curse of uh, Deuteronomy 28, all Israel became scattered abroad. So what would you think would happen? If we've lived around a particular group of people, then our children are going to wind up looking like those people. And as time progresses, those children's children are going to pass on their genetics by dealing with those same people. And as time progresses, as I've said, they're going to want them looking like those people, not knowing that they actually have 
the genealogy of the Israelites within them. Okay, so we're very well aware of that. But when we speak on the so-called white men, we're talking about obviously these pure-blooded uh, JOOs and as well as um, Edomites that are, are under them too. Because you have different variations and you have different sons of among them. You have the different sons amongst these Edomites and they're all working in tandem to prepare a, a, a life of more destruction. <laughs> you know, a life of more despair. Let me just use that instead. Okay. So, yeah, you know, that's pretty much all I have to say, man. Um, with that, I close. Shalom.